They were bold, black, and beautiful, women of all sizes and shades, men too, who turned heads on runways in haute couture. This traveling fashion show was called the Ebony Fashion Fair, a breakthrough event dating back to the 1950s. Emerging stars like Aretha Franklin and Richard Roundtree were front and center, but the woman behind the scenes was the real star of this show. She was Eunice Johnson, wife of publisher John Johnson of Ebony and Jet magazines. Mrs. Johnson broke all the barriers. What a brave, brave woman. Johnson's fashion fairs were raising money for charity at a time when African Americans were fighting for civil rights. We were chased by the Ku Klux Klan. We were, they threw rocks at us. Eunice Johnson traveled to Europe's top designers to get her fashions, but many did not want African Americans borrowing their clothes. Audrey Smaltz was Johnson's right hand. I used to write checks for $50,000. That caught their attention and respect. Daughter Linda Johnson Rice says her mom made designers like Emilio Pucci start thinking. I would like to have black models in my show. Can you find me some? And my mother said, are you kidding me? Oh, Designer Oscar De La Renta says Johnson was the first to introduce music on runways, putting the show in fashion. For the first time in Paris, they show unbelievably extraordinary, beautiful girls moving to music. Can, can I like try that on? Oh, heavens yes. I think it's you. <sighs> In 50 years, Johnson collected more than 8,000 looks. Her show traveled to more than 170 cities nationwide and raised $55 million for scholarships. Would make any woman feel beautiful. Johnson died last year and her fashion fairs have ended. But now as part of Black History Month, her collection is traveling to Macy's department stores in 10 cities. A celebration of the legacy of a woman who saw style as power and power in style. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Chicago.